At level 20, players get access to an auxiliary partner in the Japanese version. They're called support partners. You may remember these from Fantasy Star Universe as partner machines. So in this episode, we're going to be talking about how to access auxiliaries and how to actually level them up and other features and functions they have. So stick around and we're going to help you get this all unlocked and leveled up. As with all of these upgrades, the thing that's probably holding you back from accessing these is at the start of the game talking to Aethon. Make sure you talk to him and it's definitely worthwhile getting some of his client orders done as it's good experience and good Masetta starting out. Anyway, as long as you've done this, you should be able to access what we're going to talk about and a lot of other functions with Kofi. If she doesn't have quests, that is the thing that's holding you back. So at level 20, you'll get access to the auxiliary course. This is a very, very simple quest. Maybe a little bit confusing, but we're gonna help you through it. Basically, we just need to talk to a character called Astart, and we're gonna get this auxiliary console. It's gonna be another step to it after this, but we first off need to get this item. So we need to take Astart's course, and she is just to the left of this counter. Over here, this character right next to the character with the big golden speech bubble with the character waving and the little sprout and tree. Just talk to her, she'll give you a little bit of a rundown on what auxiliaries do. And then at this point, we will head back over to Kofi and this will complete the quest. And at this point, she will actually give you that auxiliary console. So we're good to move on to the next step. So we're all done there. The next step is to turn around and head over to the shopping plaza. And once we're over here, we actually need to head up to the second floor and we need to go onto the right side to the salon. And at this point, we are going to edit and create our auxiliary. So just set manage auxiliaries and you'd choose it here. I've already got one. If I was to want to make multiple, I will need to pay some AC or microtransaction money. So you probably only need one of them at a time. I haven't really had a need to have multiple of them. So don't feel too worried. You know the drill, you've made a character before. The thing to note is that you will also select a class for them and this class will not be changeable after the fact. This is just a standard character creation, nothing really to talk about. But once you've got that done, we can then head to our personal quarters or the My Room. You can do this by the quick menu, by either pressing the view button and opening that menu, or you can use this other menu and you can just go across the personal data and then quick menu to select the quick menu and then just go to go to personal quarters. It may be go to My Room on Japanese. So once we're in here, at this point, we can just select the room we want to place it in and we go to our personal terminal and then we place the auxiliary console wherever we like. I've actually got one for each of my characters. I've got three characters. So I'm just gonna place that here again. And then I'll select the auxiliary I wanna place on that pad. And there we go. We're basically set up with our auxiliary partner machine over here. So I'm gonna go over the little functions we have with this. First off, you can view the information such as stats, equipment, and class information. This is just gonna show a whole bunch of the information about the character, what they're currently equipped with if you wanna have a glance of what you wanna change, and also what the classes are if you're leveling up classes with them. Then if we go to customize equipment, we can swap out a weapon. I don't have a weapon to place here, but currently they've got a Dio Ardillo. There's no real cap on what they can equip, so you can give them the beefiest weapon possible. If I had a summoner class, I could choose an egg at this point. And then units are pretty straightforward, as you'd expect. Just give them a unit and they'll put it on. If they've already got one equipped, it'll go back to your inventory, as you can see here. I'm just gonna swap that over because the Vada one is actually a little bit better. Same goes for arm and leg unit, exactly the same. I could choose an outfit, currently they've got sentinel wing, but if I did have an outfit, for the specific gender, or if it's a cast or whatever, I could give them those. Same goes for weapon camo. You can make them look a little bit fancy with some weapon camo if you like. You can even remove it if you wanna you know, steal it off them and put it on your own character. But I'm just gonna give it back because I think she looks pretty badass with this rose saber. Then we have set subclass. Make sure you set a subclass when you first do this as it's gonna give them even better stats. And it's also gonna allow you to, I guess, get them to start leveling up their classes. I've got a hunter fighter here for this one. And you can also talk to them. Sometimes they'll give you an item, like I just got this Aptitude mini food device, which isn't too bad. And then I can dismiss them if I want to and move around that little pod if I want to also. 
these are not going to level up by taking them out on missions with you. You actually need to send them out on missions or client orders. The ones you get from Franka specifically, they're going to take an hour each to complete. I've selected four, so it's going to take four hours. And when they come back, sometimes they'll fail, sometimes they'll succeed. And this largely has to do with the level of the partner machine or the uh, auxiliary as they're called in this game. So I used to call them that. So do note, if you maybe are gonna go out and do something in the real world and you've only got an hour to play and you wanna make sure that you optimize that time, maybe just send them out on one mission. Otherwise, if you don't really care about that and wanna send them out on a bunch of missions, currently I have a maximum of four, but I believe lower level they may have access to less of these client orders. So I was sending them out at three at a time when I was starting out. Now they can do four. Now let's go over where you can actually get those client orders. So we're in the shopping plaza again, and you know where the casino is as the anchor point. Just turn around here on the left side of the big monitor where the concerts take place. Talk to Franka here. All of Franka's client orders are client orders that your auxiliary can actually go out on and participate in. You can also do these yourself if you really want them, but what you can do is pay attention to the level required. The lowest level of these quests is 21, and I believe they go up to level 60. So you want to match up the auxiliary's level around about the same level as the client order level. I have found it easiest to just filter by the different areas as each of the areas will gradually go up higher in level. So I can grab a whole bunch of these and then send them on those until they level up to say 28 and then I can then choose the desert ones until they're a little bit higher level and then I can choose the coast and so on and so forth. So definitely something to recommend doing over and over, always check back on your auxiliary. If you have any further questions, feel free to put them in the comments. Otherwise, I have these other beginner's guides, which I'm sure you'll find useful. If you have any further guides you'd like me to cover, again, put them in the comments below, and I might add them to a list of videos I need to make. I'll catch you on the next one. Have a good one. Bye.